Hello Doraemons, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here back with another Python question which was asked in 10th of January. And this question is, I have to say this is a very simple question to solve because uh, like the concepts are very clear in this question and by looking into the input and output you can figure out how you have to work on this thing and it's a very easy question. So I have just came up with this question because it looks a bit tricky while we are seeing the input and output and once we understand it, the algorithm and the process to solve the question is very easy. So I have got a lot of requests from you guys to upload the video soon and also to upload like the questions also very happy to know that you people have been liking my videos and if you like my video please do hit on that like button that will help me to perform better and also supports my channel so make sure you do it for myself and there is one more surprise that i'll be announcing in the end of the video so make sure you watch the video until the end and let's start uh, let's get started with our question right now Okay, so as I t uh, always say, I will not read the entire question, I will just directly look into the input and output. If I can't figure out something or if there is something which is missing, then I look into the things like how the input and output has been given and like only the function statements, like what you should do in the function. So let's look into the input and output and let's come to an idea of what we are going to do while solving this question right over here okay so initially they are giving four as the number of object values they are going to be giving and the one like for a single unit how many things are going to be there is intro to programming which is like this is basically a course and cost question so this is basically going to have the course name and the tutor name and the rate and it will it also has another one embedded list into this object that will also be passed in this one single unit and here we have two languages which is python and java like introduction to programming can be done in any language so this course is provided in two such languages of python and java and the course start date and whether it is online mode or offline mode so this is a set of data which is being given for one single object and likewise we have four similar objects offline online and for back-end development is going to be john and the rate is 899 and it, that is available in three languages and the start date is 7 7 2021 and it's going to be in online mode like that we have four similar things and after that we have a list like this is mentioned it is going to be only three people like it this is the course instructor name and the ratings which is given to them and this is the main part like this three things is the focus actually what they are uh, asked to do in this question is firstly they will pass a mode of learning and then they will pass a price amount and then year so f from the first function you have to get all the online mode courses which is of uh, cost less than 900 and for the second function we are going to just get the total amount of cost for all the courses which is ha happening in the online mode and which is starting in 2021 so that is the output here as you can see for the first one which is online mode and uh, the rate is less than 900 is intro to programming which is 550 and machine learning which is 749 and backend development which is 899 so all these things are less than 900 so it's getting displayed over here and this thing is the total amount for all the courses which is getting started in 2021 in online mode and so we are going to give this in the float format and we also have another set of input to show the other part of like the output uh, like they'll pass here they have passed offline mode and the rate is 1200 for that we have got this input and if there is no such courses which is getting started in 2019 we have to just print it like no course available with the given criteria 
i hope this question is clear now let's quickly go into solving this question i think it will be a bit more easy like as you understood from the thing it will be like easy one so for basic things i have written always the class object and the self init function and i have also declared the class main and again the definite function and usually we'll pass this e list and fun one fun two and the main function and have written the base list as f list and the end to get the input so let's quickly get these uh, course course name the tutor name and the price and the list of languages to start and date and the mode of course so let's first quickly do that i'm going as always i have written the code and i'm just going to copy paste it over here it saves a lot of time okay so i've already got the yen and here i have given c and for course name and instructor name as i name and cost like the course price as c price and here i have declared one more list to store the like set of languages which is it which is the courses are taught in and for that uh, like here i got yan2 is equal to int of input to get this 2 and i have run a loop for j in range n2 and i'm getting like course language and i'm appending that to l list and after that i'm getting the date and here i have split the date by using this um, little symbol why because here we are only considering in the end we are only considering the year and not the month so what this does is date dot input dot split what happens over right here is if i print date it will just split the date based on the year month and day so let me quickly pass the input and show you how that will work so you can get an idea and this is one new method you can use instead of using split dot and using some function to like get these things this is one of the easy thing which i have uh, like explored and i'm also sharing that with you guys so that you can also have an idea yeah like this it will be popping out like 0 2 10 and 2021 20, like for the first set of input for this one so here i'm only considering as it is just uh, thrown out in the form of list i'm using date is equal to int of date of two because we have got it using input it will be in the type string and when we are comparing we will be comparing it in integer so that i'm just here itself i'm converting int of date of two so it will basically store the year value in the date so that's how it goes i hope this is clear and after this we are going to just uh, append this list over the object class and um, declare the object so here we'll quickly pass the objects in the class object so i'm just copying the parameters so as you know you can give any name of your choice so uh, to just avoid the confusion i will use this thing like c means c name name price ll means this list and d for date and t for this type you can also follow this method to avoid confusions so this is one of my suggestions and you can take whatever you want okay so now i also made the class object and we are also ready with our list now let's quickly define the main function like we'll quickly define the object for this main class and then pass the inputs and perform the operations i think this won't take so long because it's a very easy question if you've got getting this in the ira exam and like it will be a lucky day for you because it's very easy to solve and yeah so after this as we already know like as mentioned in the question they have given like three set of uh, instructor name and the ratings so to get that i'm just defining the variables as name one rating one name two rating two and name three rating three like that and i'm just going to copy paste this thing over there rating three and in the last 
I'm going to just paste it. Yeah. So make okay. So just make sure it is outside of this loop because it's going to be a separate part. And after that, we are going to just get the mode of in the like course and then the total amount less than which we have to print the names and for year which we have to print so let's just quickly get that one also going down and here i have t t as mode or type you can say and i'm also like copy pasting this thing okay now we are all set and we have all the things to run or perform the operations over the input data we have completely got the input data as you can see your program did not output anything so this means you uh, you have just successfully got the input without any problems so now just quickly declare the object for the main class and then we'll perform the operations and complete the question so here I'm just going to copy paste this object declaration part as you already know how we'll declare an object. So we are going to just put obj and class name of flist which I'll be passing over here which is here taken as elist. Okay and after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the type and amount to the function 1. So here I have just declared object dot one is equal to type and amount and here also I'm getting the same I'll copy paste it and then I'll explain you the things so it will be a lot more easier for you to understand so for type and amount I'm just declaring two parameters in this part and after that just delete this pass and here I'm getting this set of code I'll explain you the code okay so here first off I have just declared a ddict because here after getting the courses which is less than 900 you have to just sort it in the uh, according to the ascending order of the price so as you can see here it is 550 and 749 and 899 so without sorting you will get an like an incorrect order so to just uh, arrange it and sort it in the right order I'm just declaring this dick even without this dick you can um, get the output but to sort it I'm just getting it in a dick format so for i in self dot e list and if i dot tt is the type which is the mode or anything you can say I've stored in the name of t i dot t dot lower is equal to equal to ty dot lower i'm comparing whether it is offline or online and make sure like all your string comparison part is in case insensitive that is you can either do it all in uppercase or all in all in lowercase i would suggest you to do all in lowercase because it's uh, like it has been in practice for more years and it is very easier when you can also go with higher but it will be like uh, apart from another line like that so let's after comparing or like it is both online and online I'm going to compare the price with the amount I have passed which is AM if it is less than then I'm going to get ddic of i.c I'm getting this uh, key as the course course name and uh, the value for that key as the price and after that I'm writing this little line to sort the dictionary in uh, ascending order according to the price so we will use sorted of d dict out items comma key is equal to lambda access to x of 1 so if it is access to x of 1 then it will sort according to the values so if it is 0 then it will sort according to the keys of the dictionary and like after sorting it make sure you convert into dict because we will be getting it in the form of a list so we have to convert it into the dick and then I here I am printing for i in ddic print i comma ddic of i. So now if I run it, we will get intro to programming and machine learning and backend development as 899. So we have got the first part of the output and let's jump on to the second part. So here what I am going to do here is in this one two part 
I'm going to pass the type that is the mode of the course and also the year which I got over here. So let's pass the parameter for the things. And here I'm just pasting the parameters. And after this inside it, I'm going to just copy paste this part because here we have two criteria. One, we have to either print uh, like the total sum of the things which is held in the mode of online or offline in the press specified here. If not available, we also have to print no course available with given criteria. So here I'm doing the same thing instead of I am taking K for K in self dot E list. If K dot T dot lower is equal to TL because here I've given it as TL, TL dot lower and if K dot D, K dot D is nothing but the date. Uh, here we have used it to store it only the year. So here k dot d is equal to equal to the year which is passed over in this input part. Then sum is equal to k dot t. Like we are just comparing whether it is online or offline and the date is 2021. Then we have to just add the price to sum. So if sum is greater than zero, like you can use if sum, print sum else print no courses available with given criteria and yeah so now i'm going to run it as you can see we have entirely got the output and it is perfectly syncing with the output which is shown in the sample input and output so let me quickly run also the sample input too so let's see whether it prints is prints no courses available with given criteria or not so let's quickly do that I'm just copying it and running yeah and also this also perfectly syncs with the sample and output too so hence this is the solution which is the most correct solution for this question I hope you enjoyed the video because you have been watching till end and I have a surprise for you video like I have been getting requests to post videos very quick like after the ARA exams so I'm just deciding to post the videos as soon as possible. If I get like 500 likes for this video, then I'll be posting it right after the exam so that you can either check we have you have solved it right or not. Or if you didn't solve it, then you can just learn from it. And yeah, if you like the video, make sure, make sure you like the video, like hit the like button and yeah. So one more question which is asked by one of my subscribers is whether to use four spaces or one tab while using this python compiler. So what I usually say is don't use four spaces or one tab. What you can either do is here just after right putting the semicolon just put a delete and then press enter. It will automatically go to the place where it, it have to be indented and it will not give you any error. So this is the one practice which I usually use while in the coding uh, like exam. So this method will be also useful to you guys and it will be you can make uh, you cannot make any mistakes while following this pattern and you will not be wasting any time while doing these things. I hope this video was helpful and if you liked it please make sure you subscribe and like the video and share it with your friends. And this question will be available in the blog down below. So if you want to solve it without my guidance on your own, you can go over there. The only question will be available over here, like over there. And you can just see it and solve from there. Okay. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And it will be like probably one day after this video has been uploaded and all the best for your future ARAs and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Bye bye Doraemons. Keep enjoying and keep rocking. Cheers.